Good morning guys, welcome back to another video I'm really sorry I'm having to do a voiceover I don't know what's happened but my voice has vanished So who knows what I'll be chatting about Probably nothing to do with the cupboard <laughs> I hope you're all doing well uh, Just thought I'd show you this, I went and picked it up It's what we call in the UK a Corona unit and it's basically it's just pine it's all wood it's not brilliantly put together wood and it's all pine uh, so it, it come with the three doors and three drawers I've took the doors off because it was all covered in grey and where I've sanded off the paint was just like it just come off dead easy it was withering away sort of thing so as you can see I've stripped the top my intention is is that I might do um, a stain on the top but I'm not sure and I didn't know whether to do it on the bottom as well so I've just filled everywhere leaving that to dry and then we'll decide I suppose what we're going to do with it I think I'm just showing you here um, on the side whenever I seem to get these units they have like all these tiny little dot little holes you know like what woodworm would leave well it's like that but you get it on all of these and you get it on different parts on the furniture as well so I think that's probably what I was talking to you about and I'll probably show you where where it's in other places as well yeah that's what it looks like before it's been filled a lot I mean it's not woodworm because it's all the time that that's the remnants of a dog but I don't know what it is it's like someone sits there stabbing at it and where comes the finger But you find it in all random places. It's ever so weird. So I'm not sure why I've filled the cupboard and not filled the doors. I don't know. Sorry about that. That's the dog now messing with a toy. Right, one of the doors I got had all been glued back together, it had all broke so I decided to take it off, remove it all together so I'm just looking here whether to have the two sides open or whether to have the middle one open so I think I'm just showing you oh I don't like it when you don't have when you have to do a voiceover I mean you can just chat random rubbish can't you when you're filming now I've got to think of things to say but I asked everybody and they all decided that this one looked better proportioned so I think I decided to go with this one and then I'm thinking what to do now because obviously that's all open so I didn't want to just leave it you know like the wood inside I wanted to make a bit of a feature of it so I think I've decided that I'm going to pop a bit of paper at the back and paint the inside of the cupboard Eleanor really she's had a new toy so she has to like kill it for three days and then she'll probably never touch it again Right, 
Right then, welcome back again. Right then. I just thought I'd show so you what, this is what I decided to. to do. I've painted I all used, the That's a little bit of uh, Laura in Ashley paper in the background. And it's got gray, blues and greens like in it. Sage green. And no one seemed to like the Farrow and Ball French grey, which is actually a green. This paper. So I thought, well, I might as well use it up and put middle. it in there. And it actually looks. Because that's going to be open. Really so I nice knew that I'd have to. So make that that's look what I've done. So I, I think it's only had well, one coat up to yet. So there, it's going to need. I think I'd give it three coats all together. But of course I had to do it all and because it there's nothing to so partition nice. it off, so, so and hopefully a little it's bit just more another expensive. little added detail. So which I hope will look pretty look in at, the end. Through, through the door. Well, I actually I'm used um I've stopped using the wallpaper adhesive Mod Podge. It doesn't give to you stick the paper to the furniture. I've started using Mod Podge. Because when I use the furniture, anything, uh, it's the wallpaper flat. adhesive, so it used to really bubble, like and sometimes it's now about them bubbles would stay, they wouldn't <laughs> dry out <laughs> like they do on your walls. They didn't do, so Should I've started using Mod to. Podge, right. and it goes on See lovely straight away. I've not had no creases, no bubbles, no nothing. Right then, no cracker, we're Welcome moving back. a bit quick now. I thought right, so I decided do to do a bit of, a bit of a something with the outside. I've sanded and I found that, that I've got this stencil and it fit quite, quite nicely onto the doors. I've got this stencil out. I'll show you. I've, I've done filled. it on the furniture as well. I've had to refill. And all I'm using, because as you know, my filling's is always texture crap. paste. This is the texture paste that I use. So. And I get this from either the Range or Hobby Craft in the UK. Tell it's new. It's quite and as you can still. see, because it's a brand new one, it's really quite runny. You, don't you know, after you've much. had it a couple of months, it's mm. like um, filler. <laughs> Which I have used in well, the past. So if you, you haven't it. got anything like this, you don't need to go out and buy it. It's quite expensive. Um, my hubby said to me, he says, why are you wasting money on that when you've used filler it's before? Just like a spatula. And I forget. You know what I mean? And then you have an idea and you think, oh, right, yeah, I've got to go and get some of that and get some of that. So this was actually a damaged one. So it was, I think, the all the top was broke. But that's fine by me. But yes, filler that. made up the powder that you mix in with water. That works just as well. And it sands down just as lovely because obviously it's powder, isn't and it? I'm going to put that on the. So yeah, I've here. just added the. Uh, I've also I'm looking at this, this one. one. I'm thinking uh, I'm going to add this I'm to the drawers. The way. After I've done. And I'm going to pop it. That one because it is kind of a similar pattern. So I've trimmed my stencil down. It is only that wide, but there was quite a lot of border around it. So I trimmed it down so it fit in a bit better. Take your time, so. But as you'll see in a bit, this looks a complete place. bloody mess. So that goes. You see, I never plan anything. I just like go with the flow, and that's why sometimes I forget when I show you these videos that I've done that I've not filmed. It's because I start out and I'm just intending to paint something and then I paint it and think now that looks a bit like boring. I'll just add a bit of this and then before you know I've done a full blown job on it and not filmed it. Because I never know what I'm going to do. I never plan anything. It'll be fine. I shall wait for this to dry off a little bit before I do But I did know with this being bigger. So I shall do the other cupboard door. I was going to do a couple of bits on it. I'll do these two. And then we'll be back. Alright. Obviously I've left that end bit because I don't like to do it when I'll it's wet because I smudge it all. Sides as well. And here I Obviously decided I to do it on the side as well. And look at my I've measuring skills. Wrong again, Aren't I do you think I'll ever learn? Because I don't oh, yeah, think I will. I don't want half in, I want full ones. I forget that so I will you don't like want that. a half I mean, one on. Because that just looks a mess. So instead of thinking that beforehand... I've given all or measuring out which in here I recommend you do. So inside's <laughs> completely done. 
ended up like that but it's getting painted over anyway so I just wanted it for a bit of texture but I do this well. all I the time I never ever so learn from my mistakes that. ever I'll try Pratt. I do this every time where ideally they'd have all been spread out that little bit more I say it's just for a bit of texture and it'd have all flowed nicely right. it's a seashore, but then. once it's painted you don't actually notice luckily right. well not too much I'd anyway <laughs> And the paint I decided to use is, outside, um, it's a big one at the end lot, yeah, it's a bell spar and it's what they call the oops paint. Two coats of the S Someone's obviously had it mixed it. I don't and then what colour it is. decided against it's it or like whatever, a... so they've dumped it. Ooh, so instead of it being say? like, I think it's £21, it's pound, nice... I got it for 8 and there's nothing wrong very with it. Very You know, it's just that someone's dumped it, isn't it silly? very very and pale and it's a really nice maybe a hint of grey i don't know how to know it's like a any. creamy grey <laughs> probably not beigey kind of colour like say i've it, it's a really nice colour again I've got so i thought well that over. can go on here Should it'll give it, it it's more on a warmer tone than a cooler tone i've done can you see well, I was just yeah, about to take your outside and the bloody dogs decided Remember, to when you're doing stenciling, I'll always you down, to measure it out quickly for the four rounds. Yeah, alright, yeah, I was just about to zoom in on you. You wouldn't want me zooming in on that, oh, would yes. you? Oh yes, that's a good one as well. Right. Don't ever wash so your texture paste well. or your filler down the drain. Had two coats always like, well, I do it there on the garden. But you'll get blocked drains because it it'll clog up. And ask me how I know that one. Yeah. These have only had one. So no, don't ever do wash it down your drains. Bit, so. And this is where I've decided what bloody some. mess it looks. So they've just had Even though it's only had one here. coat and it still needs a couple of coats, I can just tell looking at it, it's not what I was after. Where are you? They're lovely. Oh, she's done a runner. Alright, so. so look at all the flowers coming out. Oh, and here I'm oh, here I'm chatting lovely. about the flowers that have come up. Well, they will These be great big things are like called, the, I'm sure they're called, they're called a a a a or atrium, they have atriums huge or something. Great big purple they're a heads. great massive head. They and look it like all a dandelion, like but they're like huge ball, and massive and purple. And they have purple flowers on. So that's what all them are. And they're absolutely fantastic. So that will look lovely. I and I remembered what the allium, are the alliums? Anyway. A form of allium. These another coat. I can't we'll remember. But when they're next. out and they've got the flower okay. on, I'll show you. They really are lovely. Right, oh. I'm not happy. Fast forward. I've yeah, this is now. Me explaining that I really I'm don't like the draw from. The, what colour? So I took a bit of that paper that was left, the Laura now Ashley these, one, and like. I've popped it. Everything just, now, know it you know, just laid it all in to have a look. It looks really scruffy and a mess. And yeah, I think. What do we think? I go with the paper because I just wasn't happy with that at all. It, it wasn't giving me the look that I was Should wanting. All, top, all the top three. So, luckily, it, it scrapes easy. off really easily. I've just had to If it's not, you then, know, because sure. it's not had a chance to fully set and what have you yet, that, so yeah. it will come Even off easy. Not, I, don't know the coat, it just I think I just get that like, a, That's like a window scraper. So I don't know if I'm showing you all that off again now. I'm papering. Right. But yes, that's what we're going to go with the wallpaper instead. Right then, putting the paper on the front. Oh, I'm I didn't show you then. Yeah, all I used was my window scraper. It just, I don't know, there was and just, just something. scraped along it. I've seen other and it, people it just do come this, off you know, and it because it's not a good. chance to set fully. And I think that looks so much yeah. nicer. I don't know whether to add. I know you can't see it's because like how the light's shining on it. A thicker trim here. But just on this I couldn't bit. decide whether to put like a thicker edge to make that stand out on that front. That's what and I was said saying. That you know, like put a bit of this colour. beading or something just to make don't it to stand out a bit more. And paint it. And then the cool. hubby said that it should be but the cream colour the same with the paper. because you're looking at it head on. And I'm like, there's no way I'm getting a straight line Do across that. Taping or no taping. And I've just, hang on, we'll take so, you outside. I think I scrapped that idea. Oh, look at the state of the path. 
You can't decorate. You can't be a furniture restorer and no, have anything nice. I'm not nice. sure what's well, going to look right, but Aha, I fancy gold. Right. I decided so that I was going to gold. have a go at. I've picked these out up to you. Gold for the hardware. I mean, these ones have been sprayed. Now these cup, times. <laughs> the little <laughs> cup like ones. They'll be like three inch thick. I've been sprayed about four different yeah. colours already, I'll and I've still look. not used they might them. Not be so enough. If not, I'm gonna have whether to these will now get used, something. I don't know. But I'm it's just a kind of metallic sure. gold but it really right, does come so out nice that's where we're up to. and of course don't forget to spray your like i say i'd show you more but your I screws thought, no, as well because they're going into it so you want no, them the uh, same color or anything, so. so i just shove mine in a little bit of uh, styrofoam stuff so that you use that. for flowers right. and it holds it lovely we're still going and that's with <laughs> it all on right we've put the hardware back on now I don't know if I've told right, you, but I couldn't get. Here. I don't think. Oh well, I'm not, yeah, I think I, I think we do redo me. it. The doors look; they just do don't it. don't hang right. So it's fixed it so that and it was like bugging me really bad. And I had to go so at yeah, before. I'd had to go at this one and made it look a little bit more now even, but I couldn't get this one to go right. He says I think the so probably has to take over. So I've done it, and yeah, and I'm not great. kidding. I did, I, so I, I did all now, that one on my own, when it's and it was dry, oh, can you just pass do. me this, and can you pass me that? Can you hold this? Can you push on that? We'll lift it and down, I thought, well, I've just done that one myself. The top. I don't think I'm gonna add anything. He says, to look, the top I'm not charging you. I was like, I don't right, want it okay. Dark. It's quite. I'm so I don't know if that's what I'm chatting about there. We we do end up making all that hot that door we'll frame to the so it's all so much They're more symmetric as such and then i've got two of but those i think i do like the uh the gold and they what come with it so it's not doing it quite justice actually it's yeah. more like the knob color than the hardware the we'll come back for a color final, gold yeah. in real right. life if you know what i mean but i've stuck right with then. the we're done uh, cup handles. What do we think? And then I've just decorated it up a little bit. I really, really. We changed like his it, mind actually. at the end, and I decided to paint the bottom bit the same colour. I quite like this. Not planning. I the didn't head like look. it. Like because the wood look. You, oh dear. And I decided Excuse I wanted me. just the natural top as well. So I actually gave it all well, another sand. I'll just bring you around. And then it's just been waxed, so, so it side. looks a bit patchy. I think present. it looks better like his head painted. And the that bottom. half three quarters of the way down is actually a fly that sat there. It's nothing wrong with We've it. Waxed all the, I've only just waxed it, so it's so can yeah, some soaked in and some hasn't. Look a bit present. But I'm it's really, really pleased with this one. In, I do like just it. Just clear wax. And I'm so glad that I did the Stand paper on the front. Not in the picture, because I wasn't gonna. Because like everyone else said, you, you're adding paper and stuff to everything, and you're limiting your market. And I thought, yeah, you're right. To get two baskets. Yeah, you've got to like that paper, haven't you, to want it in your house? So that's not. But it still gives you the idea, doesn't it? But you'll have to let me know what you think. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Oh, the gold. I love My name's Cheryl. It. Even no though it says redesign with like. Eleanor's, Eleanor's actually the dog. Not now, anyway. But her name is so much better than mine, so I used her name instead. <laughs> what do you but think? Like I say, welcome to the channel. Like I, say, I'm really I hope you stick pleased. with us. Hello. Oh, there's Eleanor in the flesh. Hello. Are you there to look pretty? Yeah, she's she don't entertain oh, us right. camera Stuck people anymore. Now, aren't you? The she's far too good to for that, she thinks. But hey, anyway, Elena. I Elena. hope you liked the video. Elena. If you did, please oh. like, subscribe, and comment below. Smile. People like and to see you. I think I'm you. just going to leave you with a picture of no, Eleanor. Of them, she says. Take care, I'm guys. Bird watching, even though the birds laugh at her. But anyway, I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave me a comment in the box below. And if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. It really does help me out. And thank you to the lovely people that have been buying me coffees. That really helps me to try out different things. So until the next time, see you again. Bye.